people hear about lentiglobin gene therapy. What is the lentiglobin part of that? That's, mean? that's the virus. Lentiglobin, yeah. the, the virus that, that carries yeah, this gene in and introduces it into your genome, transduces it into okay. your genome, is a, is, is a lentivirus. A lentivirus. Which is, which is in the same family as HIV. Right. And, but it's a modified virus. It's not the HIV virus itself. It's modified. But it's already scary in terms of syntax. Right. But they have, they have developed the, they've put into this vector sequences that self-inactivate yeah. the actual viral part of it. So we've not seen any issues with an, a viral infection in these individuals who've gotten yeah. gene therapy. So you're so just far. using the virus as a syringe. Yes, as a carrier. He's a carrier. One He's analogy carrier. I um, heard recently was there's the end, normally the vir HIV virus has an envelope and then there's a letter. That's the DNA that's telling it to give you the HIV infection. So here what we're doing is we're taking out that letter. We're just using the envelope and then we're putting in uh, the gene that we're interested in and then delivering that But letter. you realize, of course, yeah. that we're all very old. That's snail mail. <laughs> Nobody's using that anymore. Well, but they do <laughs> electroporate the cells. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But this is uh, also a progress uh, in, uh, in gene therapy and uh, using uh, viruses as a vector because uh, uh, going back to the first gene therapy in Ada's kid, so the immune deficient children, Actually, the, there was uh, some integration of the viral, the viral vector causing uh, leukemia. There, there was a lot of bad press. Yeah, Let's exactly. just put it that way, right, That's early exactly. on. But now, as uh, uh, he said, uh, I believe that this risk uh, is over, at least we have to look at, but is, uh, the, vir the virus All right. has been modified. So mechanically now, if you want to do gene therapy, Let's spell it out. You talked about conditioning. What does all that mean? What, what is this? So if a patient says, yes, I want gene therapy, mm -hmm. of course, they go through the, the consenting process. They, you, know, you, you, you have to make sure that, it, that the, the patient, the family, whoever it is, understands f full well what they're going through, just like with, with bone marrow transplant. They will then get um, their stem cells harvested. So usually a little bit of stimulation to your bone marrow either GCSF or plerexophore, stimulates your bone marrow to release some of these cells. Then they are, they are phoresed, as in the, the, the um, stem cells are collected by a phoresis procedure. Those stem cells are then sent to a central laboratory where the gene is introduced by the vector. They do a whole bunch of quality control and, and testing off that gene product. Then it's ready for use. Once it's ready for use, the patient has to be admitted to the hospital. The patient then gets conditioning chemotherapy, which is myeloablative, so it completely destroys your bone marrow. Okay, now that's, that's a little scary. That's the scary part. That's the scary part. And then they will get that, their, their own stem cells that have been transfected back. It takes a few days to a couple of weeks for those cells to find their way to the bone marrow establish themselves and start hematopoiesis. Steroids along the way? No. 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 But chemo. Chemo. Chemotherapy, yes. And my guess, correct me if I'm wrong, is that during this process you don't feel very well. You don't, so it's very different than the cancer patients who are getting transplants because they've been so heavily pre-treated with okay. chemotherapy that their immune systems are shot, they have so much tissue damage, endothelial damage, epithelial damage. These are patients who are generally well and so it's the first time they've get, gotten chemotherapy. So they generally don't feel as bad 